thoughts that I that I'd like to share about the Amazon fires that are going on right now. I'm just here in a nice community garden, which is a nice peaceful place. And this seems very far away because like if you can see the sky, you know, it's just perfectly blue. There's no smoke, but in fact, there actually is a lot of fires going on in Brazil, in the Amazon, which does affect us here. It's not good because the leader of Brazil, Bolsonaro, has basically said that the environmental police don't have any more power and there's no more regulations pretty much at all in the Amazon. And he's giving the green light for people to go in and mine gold, burn the forest, log the forest, plant cattle, or plant soybeans, graze cattle, the whole nine. It's not good. And these fires are spreading everywhere because everyone is just like, oh, there's nobody policing it. There's nobody to stop it. And there's fires everywhere. They can see them from space. The Indians are in peril. The animals are dying. It's really bad. So what is a better option than burning down the rainforest? Because we don't have to burn down the rainforest in order to have economic opportunities to you know, support Brazil as a developing country. There's something called terra preta, which means black earth. And this is a really rich and nutrient dense soil that is under the rainforest in all these parts. And how that got there is that at this moment, there are about 300,000 indigenous folks living in the Amazon. 500 years ago, there was close to between six to 10 million indigenous people living in the rainforest. That was pre-Columbus, pre, you know, smallpox. And the rainforest has the capability to support a huge amount of life, a huge amount of people with really rich soil. So the way that they made the terra preta was putting manure and putting pottery shreds and putting like some parts of animals and just enriching the soil to make these small plots of land, kind of like this little garden here and growing a huge amount of food from that small area while the forest stayed intact. So that can happen right now in the Amazon. We don't have to burn down the rainforest for cattle ranching and also to grow soybeans. We can make terra preta at this day in 2019 and have huge amounts of cash crops growing out of small areas of the rainforest while the other huge areas of the rainforest stay intact for the anteaters, the jaguars, all the animals, as well as producing oxygen and sequestering carbon for the planet. So that's my take on the fires.